And not only that, we've got to strengthen black institutions. I call upon you to take your money out of the banks downtown and deposit your money in Tri-State Bank. We want a bank-in movement in Memphis. Go by the Savings and Loan Association. I'm not asking you something that we don't do ourselves in SCLC. Black man in America for the past 400 years has been like a boy in the white man's house begging the white man for a job, for food, clothing, and shelter. And then after the white man provides him with all of these things, he turns around and get, has the nerve to get angry at the white man when the white man tries to control his life. How can people, a, a group of people such as our people, who own no factories, have equal job opportunities competing against a race that owns the factories? The only way the two can have equal job opportunities is if black people have factories as well as white people have factories. And then black, we can employ whites or we can employ blacks, just like they can employ whites or they can employ blacks. But as long as the factories are in the hands of the whites, the housing is in the hands of the whites, the school system is in the hands of the whites, you have a situation where the blacks are constantly begging the whites, to, can they use this or can they use that? That's not any kind of equal, equality of opportunity, nor does it lend to, toward one's dignity. And we have none other than Mr. Killer Mike. Yeah. Yeah. How y'all doing? I see all y'all on time. I apologize for being late. <laughs> I actually popped a couple tendons in my shoulder. I'm having surgery next week, but I'm here. And I'm here just to say we're doing the right thing. I'm yeah. a product of Atlanta. I'm a product of a strong black economic um, environment. I'm a product of black banking myself. From the time I was their age, my grandmother took me into a black bank. Uh, the only way, this country is a better country when our community is strong. We should not be ashamed for having, for, for having our sights set on economic liberation. We should not be ashamed for wanting to take care of ourselves and do for ourselves. And we actually should be encouraging it. Children as young as this should already know how to balance a check. They should already know how to handle, handle an allowance. We should be more responsible about our spending and buying habits. And a part of that responsibility, of course, is banking with one another because these banks, in turn, need to be giving out the mortgages and the loans that we need to start business and start commerce in our community. So thank you guys for allowing me to be a part of this. Right. This is not something I'm just doing today. It's something I live every day of my life. I've been taught by those with hair greater than mine. I'm teaching those with hair with, uh, with hair that's blacker than mine. Thank you guys for coming out. We're going to keep doing this. We're going to pop up in a couple more months and do it again. And next we're going to be start reporting on, well, I, got, I got an interesting question from a white friend of mine. He said, who's your mortgage with? I said, a black bank. Why, you want to get one? So I, I, want, right. I want you guys to... to to be able to have the pride of the people who grew up in the Collier Heights, to be able to have the pride of the people who grew up in the Old Fourth War, when we were financing our own futures, I think that that's the way. Again, this country is better when our community is financially yes. strong. Amen. So we should yes. never be ashamed at pointing our dollars in our community. Our dollar stays in our community six hours. Our dollar stays in our community six hours. That will change in their lifetime. Our community will be, our community will be economically strong once again. And Atlanta, like D.C., like so many other chocolate cities, will continue to be the havens for black business and commerce. Thank you guys very much. Thank you.
to, first of all, thank the one and only Alice Bussey and the great Reverend Albert E. Love for making this a successful Get Out and Bank Day. When this idea was started many, many months ago, we envisioned a very successful event, and God has blessed us with it. But it didn't come by accident. It came by dedicated people that want to see black folks become empowered. So we want you to get out and support Unity National Bank, but, but support black businesses, because black businesses cannot survive without the help of black folks. So we want to make sure that we continue to support one another. And I guarantee you, I make a commitment to you, I will put the money back into the, back into the community in the form of jobs by making loans. So support us and we will support you. Now let's hear from some of these great individuals. Alice White Bussey, co-owner Bussey Flores. We are so delighted to still be on this journey with George Andrews. From the beginning, he's really been there for us as small businesses in the community to make sure that we can expand and grow. And we want to congratulate him today again for this great bank in to get us to open up accounts at all levels, including the children. So let's support Unity National Bank. Thank you so much, Brother Andrew. We just commend you for your resilience. Thank you so much for bringing this to Atlanta. And I'm here representing the Golden Farming Collaborative as well as the Concerned Black Church. And uh, on behalf of both, we want to pledge to you our support uh, in terms of uh, getting accounts, savings, accounts, checking accounts, certificates of deposits, or whatever, so that we can uh, make our communities better. And we just want to move from a place of aiding and abetting our oppression, we want to move to a place of aiding and abetting our liberation. And this is one way that we do this, by supporting our black banks, because in turn, they will support our community. Uh, they can hire our children. They can hire uh, our people coming out of college so they have somewhere to go. So we just thank you for this edition. And you all, come on. Come on out and support Unity National Bank. Thank you very kindly.